Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am going to take you through the DIY wood slat accent wall slash only headboard that I did for my sister when I was in Texas. I think it really elevates the master bedroom space, gives some more character, some more depth, and honestly, when you walk in, you're just like, that's pretty cool. So all the materials will be linked in the description for you guys below. Let's roll right on into it, guys. All right, y'all, we are off to Lowe's. Let me get Cassandra's wood started. All right, so today's project is going to be a wood slatted accent wall for Cassandra's guest bedroom, or Cassandra's my bedroom, <laughs> bedroom, the master. <laughs> well, rushed up. Take too long, should it? No, it should definitely take a while. Because really? we gotta sand everything, dude. Hand oh. sand. We're hand sanding. We just finished grabbing 36 pieces of common board. So that was great. Lots of fun. Common board, baby. stick us off because we are getting to work. Uh, very unconventional here. My sister doesn't have uh, a, the whole shop set up like I do, which is normal for most people. So um, two big boxes right here. We're gonna sand down these guys from 80 to 320 to get that fine finish. Yesterday we got all of the boards sanded, prepped, ready to go, and today we are going in. We use a level. We're gonna use two-inch brad nails and the Ryobi nail gun to insert them onto the wall. I decided not to use any liquid nails in the back, so hopefully we'll see how sturdy it is. I'm just gonna alternate uh, the way that the nail actually goes into the piece of wood, basically creating its own little hold into the wall. Uh, we'll see how well that works, but let's get into it, guys. First thing we did was we took tape measure and measured the length of the wall and then found our center point. And I just threw up a little piece of tape. It's uh, 79 and a half. And we're going to start from the center point and work our way outwards. Already ran into a few things we thought would possibly be an issue, which is the wall itself, the drywall, bows out slightly at the bottom, which she says she's not too concerned about since the bed will be covering it. But right now we have three pieces up, and this is the spacer we are using to make sure they're all equal. I think it looks great, ties in with the natural look she was going for, and we did it in a day, plus a couple hours yesterday. <laughs> 